Hello everyone, this is Ben with Bathroom Brews MTG, and today I'm bringing you my first Oathbreaker deck tech featuring Comet Stellar Pup. As always, you can find a link to the deck and my Patreon in the video description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Comet Stellar Pup is a 4 mana, 5 loyalty planeswalker that has a 0 loyalty ability that says, roll a d6. If you roll a 1 or 2, give him 2 loyalty counters and make 2 green squirrels creature tokens. They gain haste until end of turn. If you roll a 3, minus 1 loyalty, then return a card with mana value 2 or less from your graveyard to your hand. If you roll a 4 or 5, he deals damage to a creature or player equal to his loyalty counters, then you minus 2 loyalty from him. Roll a 6, he gets 1 loyalty, and you can activate his loyalty abilities 2 more times this turn. The signature spell I paired him with is Flicker. A 2 mana white instant that removes target non-token permanent from the game, then return it to play under its owner's control. That's right, we're playing Boros Blink. We do want targets other than our commander to flicker, so I included some limited all-stars that you should try out in Oathbreaker and in Commander. We have Spirited Companion, the second best dog who will draw a card when it enters, Inspiring Overseer, a 2-1 flyer that will give us one life and draw a card, and my personal favorite, Combat Thresher. Since we can cast it for its prototype cost, when we blink it, it'll return as a 3-3 double striker that will also draw us a card. But having creatures is pointless unless we can blink them. I included some of the best blink spells I could find in white. We have Cloud Shift, Ephemerate, Flicker of Fate, Justicar's Portal, Liberate, Long Road Home, and Touch the Spirit Realm, assuming you channel it. Speaking of channels, don't forget to give this channel a sub if you liked it and hit that like button and leave a comment to feed the algorithm. All of your support is a gift to me. Speaking of gifts, I included Luxor Giada's gift. This equipment will turn Comet into a creature so we can target it with our blink spells, which is why I included Feather the Redeemed in this deck too. Since we will be targeting our own creatures with blink spells, Feather will return the blink spells to our hand so we can do it all over again. I mentioned rolling dice earlier, and I wanted to include some cards that let us improve our odds of rolling a 6 with Comet. Barbarian class lets us add an additional dice and ignore the lowest roll, and while Blade of Frontiers does the same thing, but we can put a plus one plus one counter on him whenever we roll one or more dice. With both of these cards out, our odds to roll a six is 42%. If we had another copy of Barbarian class, we could have up to a 51% chance to roll a six, which is why I included Mirage Mirror. Oh, and I can't forget Brazen Dwarf. This deals one damage to each opponent whenever we roll one or more dice. I also included some cards I'm gonna consider white staples in Oathbreaker. Resourceful Defense, which is a three mana white enchantment it says whenever a permanent you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on target permanent you control. Then you can pay 4 and a white to move any number of counters from target permanent you control to another target permanent you control. This is great for two reasons. First, you can use the 5 mana to remove all the loyalty from your planeswalker if it's going to die anyways, and store them for later. But in this deck in particular, since it's when the permanent leaves the battlefield and will be flickering our commander quite often, we can go ahead and put loyalty counters onto resourceful defense, and then move those loyalty counters back onto our commander later on in the game. Or if you want to do a pseudo super friends list with this, you could include more planeswalkers to move those counters too. Urza Assembles a Titan is a saga that lets you activate loyalty abilities of planeswalkers you control twice this turn instead of just once. An Island of Obstruction makes your opponents pay one mana to activate loyalty abilities of walkers they control. As for winning with the deck, I included Impact Tremors. Since we will be blinking a lot of our creatures, I found this is the easiest way to win. I also made sure to include the classic combo of Thelidar Guardian and Restoration Angel to pair with Tremors for an instant win. And with that, thanks for watching. A special shout out to my patrons shown on screen here. If you'd like to join them in supporting the channel, I have a link to my Patreon in the video description below. Special shout out to my friend Garrick Morgan for creating my intro music. You can find their socials in the video description below. I'm writing for the Commander's Herald now, so make sure to check out my bi-weekly articles, and I'll have a link to that down below as well. This has been Ben with Bathroom Brews MTG, and remember, always wash your hands.